Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. There's Bongo. There's a couple more here. Bongo and Bongo and Tim. Sorry, we gotta go. Get it on camera.
celebrate our ancestors being here. To celebrate the true meaning of freedom and liberty. Give us 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 death. We were here in these moments. In the rolling hills of Virginia. In the dawning of a brand new nation. We were here. And our story shall be told. We are here to celebrate those lives. We are here to celebrate every moment that they share to make this dream a reality. We are here. We are here to celebrate. God has been so mighty good to us. He's been, a, he's been a blessing to us that we can stand on this day in this country, in America, and celebrate. To celebrate. To celebrate. To celebrate. To celebrate. of these enslaved people, of the descendants of the enslaved. We're here to tell the story. We're here to let you know that, yes, we were here. Yes, yes God is able. Yes, yes God can. Oh, yeah. And brought us through this moment. Yes. Yes. And here we are to honor those we are. Who, who left this world, who left this world, yes, toiling, yes. slaving, My Lord. striving, to be a part of the American dream. Yes. Yes. To be a part of this experience. Yes. And though their work went unrecorded, and though there are some legends that didn't even record their name, had them in the same lanes as cattle and shuttle. But we're here to say that they were here. Yes. They contributed. Yes. And they left a legacy of love. Yes. Here today, there are over 140 graves unmarked. Only one tombstone with a name on it. But we know who yeah. they were. Yeah. We know what they contributed. Yes. And we know that they are part of this Red Hill Plantation. Yes. Yes. I yes. want to yes. just share with you all, welcome. Woo! Thank you. Welcome. 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 We come. We come here today not to degrenerate anybody, but to celebrate everybody. Yes. We're here to say that we were here. And in this moment, I'll share with you all, I pastor a church in the Red Hill community, Spring Hill Baptist Church, where some of the descendants, right, who were born on this plantation, yes. serve in our congregation to this day. Yes. I'm here to share with you all that the story has not died. Yes. It just hasn't been told. Yes. It just hasn't been told. Yes. I come to share with you all the story of the last overseer here. Uh, he was a supervisor. His father, uh, a deacon floor and board member of my church, his father, who was the overseer here, raised, had about 12, 11 children of his 13 children was born here. Yeah. One is buried here. Yeah. I want to share with you all that the story lives on. Yeah. Yeah. I come today to celebrate Dr. Carlton Jackson, who was a product of this community. John, brother John Braxton, who was here to represent the clergy. We are here to say that without the spiritual guidance, Someone prayed them through. Someone prayed them through the night. When they couldn't read or write, somebody prayed them through the night. When they couldn't read the stories for themselves, they stood outside the white church and heard the stories and went back with their oratorical skills and repeated what they heard to liberate their people, to give them hope that there was a better day coming, that there was a tomorrow coming, and that there is a God somewhere who is not a respecter of people because of their color, but he's a respecter of all souls because he created all men yeah. in his image. Here we are today. Here we are in this in this grove of trees, in this quiet, solemn place, in this space that has not been marked out any other way but by nature itself. Here we are today to say we were here. We celebrate their lives. We're not ashamed to say that they survived. Yeah. I want to talk to you about it because they were strong people to uh, mm -hmm. go under the brutishness yes. and the brutality of slavery oh, yeah. and to live through it. It didn't kill them. My they life. lived through it. Woo they had children. Yeah. They tended to their children. Oh, yeah. and they tended to the yeah. children in the big house. Wow. I want to tell you, they fed their children, but they fed the people in the big house. Wow. Yeah. And without the little house, it wouldn't have been a big house. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. uh, yeah. I just want to yeah. share with you. Yeah. I just want to share with you. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here. We're here not to 
not to feel sad, but to feel grateful. Yeah. We're grateful that God allowed the staff to be here. Yeah. We're grateful for the land deal that they bought back property. Yeah. We're grateful for the people who walked through and know yes. they had some depression said, what's going on? I mean, we're grateful that in that moment, they said something special must have been here. And they realized that it was a cemetery. And they didn't think to hide it. They didn't think to put it away. They didn't try to cover it up. But we want to thank the staff here who said, let's celebrate these yeah. lives. Let's dedicate yeah. these things. Yeah. Let's let the people know that they were here. And we're here. And we're grateful. We're grateful. And I want to share with you all. I want to share with you all. And these young people are dancing and, and they're singing slave songs and they're singing songs that they don't know anything about. I want to encourage you all uh, oh, out there, African American people, stop hiding where you come from. Oh yeah! Stop, yeah. stop trying to be too new age. Oh, yeah. Go on and talk about their own body real. Go on and talk about we come up out them fields. Go on and talk about our herd of the North calling. Talk about we're making quick the gay stories on how to get out of slavery. Go on and celebrate where we come from. Thank God he brought us. to this moment. And though they're not here, their spirit lives on. Yes. And as long as we remember them, the Henry, the Pandas, That's right. the Elams, the Moors, yes. those who came through this journey, the Jacksons, right. as long as we remember those people, their spirit will never die. That's right. Huh. Hush! Hush! I hear somebody call me. Hush! 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 I hear somebody calling my name. I hear him calling me from over yonder. I hear him calling me from over in glory. and close that they're drawing hands with me. I ask that you join somebody's hand that's standing by you. I ask that you join hands with them. Uh, God has brought us to this moment. He's brought us to this moment. He's brought us to this moment. He's brought us to this moment. To this moment. Dr. King spoke of a moment on a mountaintop. We had a dream where we would come together black and white and we would judge each other not by the content of our skin but by the content of our character as we come now standing at the last place of Patrick Henry one of the founding fathers of this country we bow our head in humble submission to the Almighty God we bow our head thanking him for bringing us this moment we thank him for bringing this dedication about we thank him for allowing Patrick Henry to be here we allow him to come through this way we thank him for all that he did yeah. but Lord now we ask that you help us that we'll live up to this creed yeah. that yeah. you'll give us freedom <laughs> yeah. that yeah. you'll give us freedom yeah. you'll freedom. break every yoke in our lives yeah. that you'll break everything that's hindering us yeah. that yeah. we'll put aside the color of our skins and know that we are all Americans yeah. we yeah. all deserve yeah. to be here yeah. we're all a part of the American dream yeah. Yeah. ask Lord now that you give us freedom, freedom. Uh, give us liberty yeah. to yeah. express yeah. ourselves yeah. to love one another yeah. and to be a family yeah. and to be community because if we fight among one another then we will uh, damn to cur this country for damnation yeah. but we must come together yeah. we must come together yeah. we must honor our ancestors yes. we must honor the sacrifices they made That's and we right. dedicate this moment to you yeah. we dedicate this cemetery to you yes. we dedicate everything that happens here today Lord that you will find it acceptable in your sight we thank you Lord we are grateful we thank you Lord we are grateful we thank you Lord Prayers asked in your son, holy name of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. 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 At this moment, as we, we celebrate in this special moment, we're going to ask him, but Deacon Maurice Matunka is here if he would come forward in this special moment. And if he would have anything he would like to say in this moment. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a privilege, honor to be in this place today. Thank you for all the organizers of this ceremony. 
all of those that came out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. My name is uh, Maurice Matuko. I'm actually originally from Kenya. So this celebration is endeared to me because some of the sacrifices the people that lay here went through and came out of in the freedoms that we enjoy today Amen. and the reason why I immigrated to the United States. In great, and uh, it's a great privilege because I moved here, came to school, went through the immigration process, and glad to say that now I'm an American citizen. Woo! Praise him. Praise him. So, just to honor the families that came here to celebrate that uh, roots, their heritage is in this place. It's a great thing because family is the intricate part of society. Yes. And that was one of the things that slavery basically attacked. It was the family. Mm -hmm. So it's not something we pass to the next generation through conception. But we have to understand, we have to get an understanding and educate the next generation that comes behind us. Yeah. The sacrifices that made and the freedoms that we enjoy today and the cost that was paid because if you don't have the understanding, you'll be willing to give it away for nothing. Right. That's right. So it's very important for the young people that are here, the older people, we have to continue to educate ourselves and educate the next generation so we can continue to have the freedom that we have and as the elder spoke, Martin Luther King drink. Yes. He said one day. So that dream, we're still striving for it, and we continue to persist. And like he also said, the greatest thing we can appreciate from this was the persistence. Because they were really to persist through everything. Today we go through different trials, we go through different struggles, but you have to remember, we have to persist through it. Thank you to be here, it's our honor and privilege. Bless you and hope you enjoy your day. Yeah, that's, that is beautiful, isn't it? Yes. For him to be here at a place that welcomes citizens from all over the country and they get their license and become United States citizens right here. For him to be an immigrant from another country and come here and tell his story. And, it, and, it's, and it's, it's very important that we don't take it for granted. That's right. We take it for granted that we're in the best country in the whole world. Yes. And we treat each other like we don't want to be together. Uh -huh. We have to embrace this moment and celebrate it. So we thank you so very much yes. for being here and being a part of our dedication to our ancestors who have gone on before us. At this time, at this time we're going to ask uh, that the soloists from the set free a uh, gospel ensemble, if they would come forward at this time and render to us a beautiful selection. Right. Set free. Willis. In 1828, uh, Wallace Willis was born, and um, he passed in Oklahoma. But he was an um, African American, and many, many Negro spirituals, as they, as they were called, were contributed to him. So many songs that we sing in our churches today, many of them were written by Wallace Willis, and we have no clue. But this particular one is the one that really moved in my spirit. And I'm using this one. Swing low, sweet chariot. 
coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Listen to those words again. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over yonder and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. And oh, if you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home. Tell all of my friends that I will be there too. Coming for to carry me home. Now, everybody would join in and say, Swing low. Sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Sweet low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I'm talking about precious memories. How they linger. How they ever flood my soul. I'm talking about in the stillness of the midnight, precious memories still untold. I'm talking about precious memories. How they linger, how they ever flood my soul. I say not in the stillness of the midnight. I'm talking about secret memories still untold. At this precious moment, while our minds are going back, we're going to ask that Sasha and Peyton, if they will come, and give us our ancestors' roll call. Matilda Pinnell. Mariah. <coughs> Mayo. Chrissy. Susan. Howson. Fox. Winston. Pretty. Washington. Nellie. Winford, Billy, Fountain, Maria, Charlie Henry, Douglas St. John, Pennell, James Dillard Moore, Marcia Giles, 
Mary Pinnell. Tipton Goldstone. Peter. Joe. Bob. Beth. Kate. Betty. Polly. Daphne. Dolly. Sally Marshall. Patience Henry. <coughs> Mays. Fontaine. Eliza. Violet Henry. Solomon. Ludwell Brown. Violet. Aaron Britton. We're here to celebrate those lives. We're here to celebrate those lives. We're celebrating. We're celebrating. Pretty. Aaron. This time we're going to have one of our great trumpeters from the Lynchburg area, Mr. David Simpson, if he would uh, play for us. God bless America. God bless America and God bless all of us. This this is what they came to him. They're going to send the go-karts back to get people. But we want to thank you all for being a part of our special moment. We want to thank the Patrick Henry staff. And we want to thank all of those who are on the planning committee. And we're going to, we're now, this is just the uh, beginning of it. Now, we were, our lunch is going to be served on, on, the, on the yard. There's going to be other things happening. But we're going to get ready for the dancers to take us on back up the hill. We're going to get ready. We're going to get ready. We're going to get ready. We're going to get ready for the dancers to take us back up the hill. All right. All right. All right. So we, so we want to thank you all for coming. We want to honor everybody's here. Uh, let us buy a hand right now because I know what's going to happen when we get up there. Somebody's going to be trying to get a chicken wing. So, so let, us, let, us, let us pray over lunch right now. Good Lord, we thank you now for allowing us to be in this moment. We want to thank you for sustenance. We ask, Lord, that you would bless the meal in the hands of who are prepared it. We want to thank you for the fellowship because we'll be breaking bread together for the very first time, some of us, in this celebration of, of the, our ancestors. So we thank you for the meal. We thank you for the, uh, the company that we'll share together. And we ask, Lord, that you just keep the ants away a little while. All of these prayers, like in the Son of Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Now, let's go, y'all. Over my head. Right. Everybody knows that song, Over My Head, I See Victory in the Air. And you know this is a call and response, so let's just do it. Come on, children. If you'll line up behind me, dancers, we'll just go on out just like we came in. We're going to go right on up that path. If the mic gets off, uh, turned off, that's okay. We'll just keep on going. It was back in the day we didn't even have. All right. <laughs> Over my head, I see victory in the air. Over my 